please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Mr. Sen, uh, good morning. Uh, your thoughts on, uh, you know, if you have been positive on this uh, uh, metal stocks, but GSW Steel and General Steel? Anuj, positive on both because of uh, because of this uh, duty structuring and all that and, uh, and apart from the fundamentals, if you really see the kind of rise which we have been seeing the product prices. In fact, in September months, we have never seen the long products seen rising. In fact, long products have corrected in the month of August, but again have started rising. And once this monsoon will get over, the, the beneficial, the uh, general steel and power and JSW steel, both will be beneficiary of the of the steel price, right? And even coming on the flat products also, the things are seen to be quite, quite high. And with the weakening rupee on the import parity price, import will become expensive because global market prices are also not getting reduced. It's not that that the foreign suppliers are, are will be reducing the price because of the do dollar getting stronger. So taking on overall call, I think we are keeping positive view not on Jindal Steel and J JSW Steel, but on all other ferrous metal stocks, maybe like uh, Sunflag Iron, Sarda Energy, Mukan Limited. In fact, all of them are looking quite good. Sir, I wanted your thoughts also on a couple of these NBFCs like Chola Mandalam and IIFL. I mean, Credit Suisse has downgraded these stocks today, stating that the funding costs are going to go up for some of these companies like Chola Mandalam that are present in low pricing power segments. Um, would you concur with that view or are these still stocks that are good buying opportunities? See, Sonia, in fact, credit cost is the case with all the companies. It is not only isolation with IIFL or maybe Chola Mandalam, but only point of concern for Chola Mandalam is that they have not yet moved to the in, 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 uh, to the new accounting regime. And still, they are on the end G, G, in end gap. And in fact, if you and, and probably they are likely to migrate maybe in the September quarter. And once that happens, that is going to give the pain because that's the that's an indication coming in. So except for that, I don't think that you have any kind of concerns on Chola Mandalam. In fact cost of rising is seen to be the case with all the NBFCs in case of Chola Mandalam, vehicle finance vertical is seen to be doing quite well but migration to IND AS from IND GAP you know is seen to be the will be will be taking a toll on the September quarter results which we throw some kind of caution.